Well, I started off um, in what, 73, 73 in freshman choir. And then from freshman choir, I took a, the test that he has, you know, which I didn't do well on. You know, it was just music theory, and it was tough. Oh, the test. Um, I have to say that test prepared me more for my uh, college theory classes than I was able to skip pretty much theory one almost entirely uh, because of what that 10 page test alone had me prepare for. I knew the kinds of things I wanted them to know but I didn't have the format down yet and the first couple of years the test was only like three pages and there was basically 10 different sections of uh, rhythm, key signatures, uh, notation but what I found was on these three pages some of the answers to part was uh, in some of the other parts. So I had to split it up so that no page would give you the, the help on another page. So when it eventually evolved into 10 pages, you could not go back once you turned the page. So he put me in um, mixed choir and he said, I'll give you until January to clean up your act and I will put you in acapella and uh, the fact that he would, that there were 10 different versions of it, you never knew which one you were gonna get. It could vary slightly and it kept you on your toes. It made you actually have to learn it and not just memorize a test. You had to think about what you were doing. So, most brilliant teaching tool ever. <laughs> I had the chance to go to the Southern Michigan Youth Chorale and I was hesitant to try out for it. But he said, you definitely can do it. And he, you know, he pushed me and he was able to help me along. And so when I tried out, I did make it and I was able to tour Europe with the choir for three weeks. So that was one of the greatest experiences of high school. This was the year that I got my myself together, good enough for him, 1974. I had the pleasure of student teaching with him 10 years after I graduated. And I noticed that um, just a lot of things that I did were also things that he did, and that he had a great influence on what I was doing, my life choice. So the nomination came around and I said, hey, you should really be nominated. So I, I told him, I said, I'm going to nominate you, and he said, well, you know, don't, don't worry about it. Nice thing. It's nice to be nominated. Don't have high hopes. Well, I was a trombone player in high school, and I was not ever in the choir, but I got to play in the pop concert every year, and it was one of the highlights of my year each year. Jay came to me with a chart for Save the Country by Fifth Dimension, and there were horns, and I we hadn't done anything quite like that yet. Um, so I I go to Joe Parker, the band director, and I said, I, I need a couple trumpets, a couple trombones, got some kids that'll do it. So he even helped out. I gave him the, the score. And so right away from the beginning, uh, in the very first couple of three years, we started adding horns, or um, some years strings, some years both, but usually one or the other. It was a chance to perform with 
playing some pop music and rock music, which we didn't do in band. Uh, it was all, all uh, traditional music, so it was a chance to play music of the times. But over the, over the years, some fantastic uh, horns, and uh, when I say horns, I'm talking about you know any of the horns, uh, and of course, uh, there always had to be a flute player to play the in the Vienna of Aquarius, 17 notes. So they would do pre-orders the nights of the concerts, mm -hmm. you know, like for the two nights. Mm -hmm. Then they would it'd take about six weeks. Okay. This was 75, which was a great year for me. Mm -hmm. And this was 1976, which was another great year for me. Mm -hmm. The bicentennial and everything yep. that, that year, yeah. And my honors, honors choir, thing from 1976 okay. so it was fun